Welcome back on this Giving Tuesday, and we're highlighting all of the great work the Red Cross does to help those in need. Yes, it's been a day-long effort mm -hmm. for us, and we're going to go strong for lots more hours. CBS 2's Chris Ty now in our lobby. And Chris, today is really just about support for the Red Cross, the work they do, and the partnership we have mm -hmm. to help. That's right, Ryan and Adrina, supporting the Red Cross and honoring the heroes in our community. We are doing it sharply in the spotlight today, but it's something the Red Cross focuses on every day. What he did in protecting someone else so that they may live. And he died with honor, courage, bravery, and I hope that that resonates to the youth of America. 16-year-old Blair Holt lost his life in 2007 while shielding a female classmate from gunfire. When a gunman boarded a CTA bus and opened fire a year later, Blair posthumously received a Red Cross Heroes Award for his selfless and heroic actions that day that ultimately cost him his life. Now, that was Blair's father. His mother is with us now, and she is the current Chicago Fire Commissioner, Annette Nance Holt, and she's here along with the CEO of the Red Cross, Selena Rolden. We're going to talk with Son in a moment, but uh, Commissioner, thank you so much for being here today. Uh, you know, when we talk about your son, he really embodies the heroic nature that the Red Dad, who is that? For it. The word proudly displayed, proud pride for a mother to see your son honored for doing something that is so outstandingly exceptional has to give you some, some solace and peace of mind. It does give me some solace that he did that. I just would hope that no young person would be put in that place to do something like that. But that he did, it meant a lot to our family, that he was a hero to us. Uh, Selena, let me ask you, when we talk about heroes in our community, a uh, few embody it more than her son. Yes, it's just a small way that we can recognize our neighbors, our community members, our family, our children um, for the, their acts of bravery, for the things that they do every day in our communities. And Blair was in every sense a hero, and the Red Cross was, Cross was honored to be able to call him a Red Cross hero. And, and when we talk about Blair, when we think about him, the way he was raised in a family of people who have put service first, sort of as a family moniker, it really does jive with what the Red Cross does every day. Isn't it, Commissioner, when we think about people being selfless, people thinking about others before themselves? Yeah, that's actually true. Um, I was talking about some of our members who've retired, who volunteer for the Red Cross today. You know, they were firefighters and they dedicated those li their lives and they're out here today doing the same thing, helping people. The Red Cross, we work hand in hand with them, especially at fire scenes, when it comes to smoke detectors and sounding the alarm. It's very important work that Red Cross does with us and with the citizens in the city of Chicago. Well, thank you for making some time for us today and sharing his legacy with us and to our viewers here all around the Chicago area. Thank, thank you, you for so having much. Me. Absolutely. Supporting the Red Cross, extraordinary heroes, never Never more acutely pointed out than her son, of course, who did so many heroic things and being remembered here today and every day with the spirit of the Red Cross. We're going to be here throughout the day here at the corner of Dearborn and Washington. Audrina and Ryan, let's head things back into the studio and you. Chris, thank you so much for bringing us that. It was just amazing to hear from a mother. Um, and it's so great that the Red Cross can honor these here everyday heroes. Well, nominations are now open for next year's awards. A heads up here. Here are the categories. Start getting your mind going. You can nominate someone at redcross.org slash hero. Now, again, we will be here until 7 o'clock tonight. Been going strong since 6 a.m. Yeah. Text Red Cross to 90999. You see it there at the bottom of your screen. And that automatically makes a $10 donation to the Red Cross. And don't forget, if you're in the loop this afternoon, head to lunch. You can stop by our CBS2 studios and make a donation in person to the Red Cross. We're taking your contributions until 7 o'clock tonight. There are everyday heroes out there braving the cold, taking your donations on this Giving Tuesday.